Players Championship 3 as we roll on with a Super Saturday. The Diamond or the Machine? Clean Shaven or Beard to be Feared? Who do you like here? Smokin' Joe or Dynamite Danny? And then there's RVB. He couldn't, could he? Amateur, no more today on High Roller Radio. Yes, Saturday in the Super Series, baby. Does it get any better? I don't think so. Day three announced Charlie Gray, the boss, letting us know that Gerwin Price has withdrawn. That means rock star Joe Cullen is your number one seed. He gets the bye. We got the thumbs up, of course, Friday from Callan Rids. Beat Johnny Clayton in an 8-7 thriller to take down Players Championship two darts newest stud right there as outlined by our youtube thumbnail he was convincing he's a superstar his first ever title on the pdc want to quickly thank Osti for this trifecta of appreciated comments right here this from yesterday's recap especially that middle one Thank you, sir. You gotta love Fear of Bush, too. True high roller radio speak right here. Will Callan Rids cause a riot? Will Joe Cullen rock and roll? Will this turn into the Sutar series? Let's find out, he says. Yes, let's, shall we? The draws are out on Dark Connect, tweeted Juanita McDade. And there are some pretty gnarly games, she says. So with that in mind, let's get right to it. The Lancashire Rose, Lisa Ashton, in tough against Johnny Clayton, who's played in three tournaments this year, reached three finals, and of course, he won the Masters. Smooth as can be on his way to 3-0. These are his darts. He put the third in as well, 4 nil, and he just motored on. It was a 90-dart whitewash, culminated on double two, 6 nothing. your final. The fair at averaging 100 with no mercy. The follow-through of Kirk Shepard, the former world finalist playing Ian White, fell behind a break early, trailed 5-2 through 7, tried to recover, did score a break in leg eight on double eight, but the diamond was just too good. Lining up double 16 here, yes, he advances easily by a score of 6-3. Loving Darren Webster's new shirt, tweeted Wim. Let's have a look. There it is. Yes, very nice. Can't wait to get one, replied James Robinson. He's a fan. Well, gents, new threads or not, Webster was down a break, 5-3 to the history maker, and it was Dolan, 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 had those treble 20s rolling. No finger twirl here, though. Didn't need it. He cruises into the next round, a 6-3 winner. Louis Williams, Luke Humphreys next. Cool hand, Luke up 2 0, averaging 111. Blistering start. That is called setting the tone. Case in point, the maximum leg five. Good for 4 1. Another break, and he just cruised to the finish line, winning easy. Ryan Searle versus Evil Charlie on the outer board. Key moment, leg six. Carol Sedlicek wasting three in hand on double 16, and you can't do that. Not at this level. He was made to pay as heavy metal goes checkmate on tops and he'd carry on for the 6-2 victory. How about this headline from Joe Williams? Labanowskis beats MVG. Yeah, Lucky D, very impressive. In a 6-3 scalp of the world number two, he averaged a ton. The green machine gone early again. More breaking news from Mr. Joe Williams. Menser Sulovich with a slice of perfection, the nine darter. He landed it in a 6-5 comeback win on Peter Hudson. By the way, the highest average of the opening round, also the highest average of the Super Series, James Wade tossing in a 114 and change in a 6-0 demolition job on Daniel Larson. Speaking of demolition job, the demolition man loved that result. Absolutely clinical, he said, but a long way to go. Round two now, and we start with Devin Peterson absolutely mauling the Canadian Jeff Smith. Three clear at 4-1, double eight for 5-1. He just steamrolled. Rob Cross, Raymond Van Barneveld on the outer board. First blood to Barney. Double seven for the break in 3-1. Then bam! Double 14 on the 1-2-1. One, one. He was averaging 104 at 4-2 up. Now Cross did fight back 
back to force a last leg, but he was denied. Van Barneveld gets his first ever win over Voltage, and he's on the board of the Summer Series 6-5 year final. You know Wim was happy with that result. WWE style, the yes. Thomas John Dockerel liked it as well. Barney with a twinkle in his eye. Mervyn King was doing a lot of this against Adrian Lewis, putting that first start in there, but tit for tat, wow. Jackpot on the 132. Bull, bull, double 16, a beauty. So good, it got the fist pump of approval from King. Merv was averaging 104 throughout, though, and in the final leg, he popped in this, the 180. He wins it 6-5. Other interesting results from round two, Gordon Mathers beat Chizzy 6-4, and Super Chin toppled Big John 6-3. He averaged 92. Dirk Van Dyvenboat, in the meantime, dusted off Gary Anderson, KO'd the Flying Scotsman with a 102.2. I love this from Matt Fearabush. Watch this whole match, he said, and I don't have a clue how Damon Hayda lost. The Heat averaging 109 to no avail. The Aussie detonated by Ron the Bomb. Round three now, board finals time. Great matchup here. PC1 champ Joe Cullen up against Rapid Ricky. I'm surprised I caught this screenshot. Rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, one of the quickest maximums ever. They were on serve through eight legs. Cullen scored the death knell in leg nine, though. The stellar 77 checkout. Bang, bang, clutch. Has that air of confidence about him, doesn't he? He advances by a score of 6-4. There's only one Peter Wright. Check out these bad boys, will ya? 44% tungsten or what? He actually trailed Barry Van Pier 3-1, but this double 16 made it four on the spin. County fair darts. He was popping balloons, baby. And I thought this was his worst setup, tweeted Jack Bulls. Brilliant. The plastic flight shaft combo. Love it. Even still, he and Van Peer went the distance. This treble 16, though, the tail end of a stunning 168 setup. It left 16, and that was all she wrote. He had to break to win, but win, snake bite does, 6-5. At the hammer wheels, letting us know that James Wade is on fire. Wadey, 18-2 and two through three rounds today. He's won 14 consecutive legs at the start of today's action. Wow. And there you see it from Dark Connect. The Machine, a 6-2 winner over the bullet. Last 16 now, and the ferret absolutely cruising. Johnny Clayton's been having some kind of 2021, hasn't he? Just another maximum playing Jose D'Souza, and it has to be said, the special one this weekend is Welsh. How about this clean kill? Bang, bang on 86. 1-2 how do you do? That made it 5-2. Handshakes weren't long after. 6-3, your final. Johnny, be good once again. James Wade lights out all day, facing off with Ian White, all square through six. But from there, the tides turned in the Diamonds' favor, turned in a gem, rattled off three straight for the 6-3 victory, culminated by the 66 checkout on double nine. Wade to the exits, White to the Elite Eight. Joe Cullen also in the quarters as DJ Gandolfini reports whitewash super chin with a 100 average. Christoph Ratajski threw as well after beating Devin Peterson 6-4. We get your other four results from Dark Connect. Danny Noppert, Raymond Van Barneveld, Alan Sutar, and Glenn Durant all advancing. All right, down to eight now. We start with this guy. The PDC suits him, doesn't it? Alan Sutar playing the five-time world champion, and RVB is A-OK. -okay. Wilco letting us know that he landed the big fish for 1-1. One -one. That was a break. This was a hold. The 85 punched out on double five, and then for good measure, why not the lot, one, two, three across, vintage Barney. Then he had a 13 darter for 5-2. Charlie Gray with the gif, and yes, Barney is on the prowl. Wins easy, and he's off to the semis. On the other stream, it was the Joe Show up against the Polish Eagle and Flying Cullen leading 4-1 on the 9 darter. 
Now, he wouldn't get it, wouldn't even get the leg, but he did take the next two, double eight for game, set, match, 6-2 your final. He clips the Eagles' wings convincingly. Also into the semis, Danny Knoppert and Ian White. Noppy got by the red-hot Welshman Johnny Clayton. The Diamond, meantime, dusted off Duzza 6-1. to one. So down to four now. And how about the big Dutchman? Raymond on fire today. Out in front of Ian White quickly. 3-0. He was still up a break at 4-2. White surging. He made it 4-3. Took three of four. But fair play Barney. Staved off the rush and then slammed the door shut on this double 16. Convincing and comprehensive. A 7-3 winner. Barney is back in the other semi. Joe Cullen, what can you say? He's in some kind of form. Raced out to a 4-1 stranglehold, and that was just for starters because he followed with a 170 checkout, the big fish, and then a 160 Punch out prowess indeed. Two monsters en route to 6 2. This double five sealed it. 7 3, your final. Rockstar gets an encore. He's off to another final. So it all sets up this a classic confrontation. And it didn't take long for Joe to pull ahead. He scored a break in the opening leg and led 3 1 after four. Rockstar on the red bit. He was relentless. Filled it up here, then pinned double four. We got the the grimace and the fist pump intensity. The experience of Barney, though, kept him in it. He held, then broke for four all. Are you kidding me? Very next leg, the 119. Cullen clutch. Bullseye for the immediate break back. And look at these reactions. He liked it, but wait. RVB amazing on the 144 in leg 10. Bam! 5-all. What a shot that was. Then at 6-all, Cullen a 180 against the darts. But no, he wasted his chance to break. And wow, RVB clutch himself. He took out 80 and 2. A clean kill. Brilliant. Then 14th leg drama. First, Barney missed. He couldn't believe it. Had 4 for the match. But Cullen missed as well. Ouch! Head in hands. And that was it. This double three did it. A Dutch delight spreads his arms as if to say, where has that been? How about it, folks? Another title for the legend, the five-time world champ. Make the final 8-6. Wow, wow, wow. I had the focus. I haven't had the past three years, he said. Everything went my way. Then he added this. I'm so, so happy. It all starts with belief. I was an amateur last week. Well, my friend, amateur no more. Legend still. Barney is back. Your winner. Players Championship 3, RVB, today on High Roller Radio.